Okay, sit down, sit down. I'm so glad you could find me. You know, a lot of people, they run around and they don't know where I am. And it's like, how hard is it to go up five flights of stairs? It's not that bad. I actually think it's a very meditative time. You know, when I first moved in, I was like, oh my God, I have to get up all the stairs. But, you know, mindful, the, releasing the mind is key. When you go up the stairs, what are you thinking about? You're thinking about, oh, my legs hurt. I don't want to go up the stairs. But why aren't you thinking about what good it's doing for you? And how simple it is. You have to do this one task and you, sometimes we, we get mad because we have to do a task that forces us to only focus on one thing. But sometimes that is a blessing because it focuses our mind, which we don't get all the time. You know what I mean? Anyways, so I'm going to have you sit down. I have a bit of, um, I wouldn't say an unorthodox method, but sometimes a method that people haven't heard of. What I do is I take all these crystals here and then... I just kind of kind of have them here and you can hold one if you'd like and then I'm just gonna kind of tap into you read your energy these are more here for a clarifying effect and then I'm gonna tell you what I see I'm gonna tell you what you need to do or what I think you should do see what I mean so how are you feeling today I mean probably feeling like kind of crazy how we all are it's good amazing I I feel I feel great but you know that's just me I understand that a lot of my clients come in here because you know something is hard and they feel like they're been pushed to go do something I don't want you to feel like you're in a state of crisis or anything you know this isn't a last resort this is just something you're doing to you know it's like when you go to the doctor and you go to the doctor because it's, it's like when you go to the emergency room because you know your stomach hurts so bad that you finally couldn't do anything about it and you're, you're so worried and you're so nervous and then you think about it and it's like well why didn't I go to the doctor two months ago when my stomach first started having issues of course the answer to that is a little bit harder because it's money and um no one can afford to go to the doctor but you understand the metaphor it's like you maybe you feel like you're i think it's hard to do readings when someone feels like trapped and they're at their last resort it's like okay well of course the energy is going to be crazy because you didn't you know you haven't been focusing on anything and i'm not saying that's your fault but i also think that you know especially you know us girls living in the city it's hard because people they they just they're neurotic they're crazy they're all the time they're running around and they just don't they don't stop and they don't think and they don't do anything that's why i like the stairs anyways so we're gonna focus we're gonna focus you and i are gonna focus so i'm gonna read a book for you for just one second this is a relatively new book it came out two years ago but i love this book and i like to share it with people let me show you be here now it's it was very enlightening to read there's a lot of you know spirit eastern spiritual stuff that you can pick up i think that this is a really cool one just because it's got a lot of fun pictures and i love pictures but i like to just every page is sort of a different journey so i like to just let let, let the powers of be pick a page and we can just use that for us oh this one's long no oh this one's longer oh my god I was hoping this would be a sort of quick journey. I'll do one more time and actually let the universe pick up. Sorry, universe, I didn't trust you the first time. We stopped on the same one, so that's clearly a sign. So, in, okay. So in India, I was taught this thing to say, consecrate the food, and it was very funny. I'd been taught... I've been taught it, but I still had this old orality business I would say about it, but I could not think it. But I could not stop long enough to experience it. Last night I had to confront myself to see where I wasn't. You've got to go at the rate you can go. You wake up at the rate you wake up. You finished your, you're finished with your desires at the rate you finish with your desires. The disquilibrium comes into harmony at the rate it comes into harmony you can't rip the snake the skin off the snake the snake must molt the skin that's the rate it happens i didn't say the first part because i thought it was it was connected to the past page what you should know is when he was talking about food 
he was talking about the way that people usually eat very fast, especially in America. But things happen at the rate they happen. And I think that that's probably something you really need to hear. That's something actually a lot of people really need to hear. But things happen at the rate it happens. I would ask you what that means to you, but sometimes I don't like to ask people how they feel because it feels like an insult to my skills. I should know that. Um, I feel like you, well, I'll get into it in a second. So let me show you what I have in front of me here. I have, um, this is Tiger's Eye. And it's, this I think generally just helps me with my knowledge, with my focus. Sometimes I feel like I'm not, um, you know, being into spiritual things is just as scholarly as, you know, being a philosopher. You know what I mean? Actually, in my opinion, it has a little bit more ground than that. Um, so, you know, it's, it, I need focus. I need knowledge. I need wisdom. I have quartz. This is kind of just general, but look, it's like a little egg. It's kind of cute. It's kind of flat. I have... Excuse you. I have... So bad that I can't remember what this one was called but I do know this one is meant to sort of allow myself to go into a mentorship role it helps you take care of others and then I have this one this is citrine and one time someone told me it was like the sunshine crystal I was like I need that it's just very, it's very light. It's very airy. If you ever feel like you're just not, you're not being super happy, you just need to like hold on to this, okay? I also have, I have these. You can't really see them, but they were on a bracelet that broke. Oops. I also have another bracelet right here. It's Morganite. And Morganite is one of my favorites. Um, Someone once told me, I was in a crystal shop and they told me that it's like angel kisses. And that has changed me. I love that so much. I also have just for a couple more. I also oh I also have this Dalmatian Jasper, and it's um that one is very it's very joyous. It also is very um it's very joyous. It's very it's very light. It's very clever, which is something I think you need personally. Not that you're not clever. That sounded like an insult. Um, I also have this shell. I like to have connections with the sea. I'm a Cancer, and I have this shell and. I got this from the far off land of Long Island Beach and you can see it's very pretty. So I have her and I also have this little, how did it get dirty, what the hell? Sorry. It's a pearl, but you can see one part of it has dirt on it, I don't know what happened, oh my god. <sighs> Every day, it's just another thing, you know what I mean? You think you have a pearl and then all of a sudden it's just, what the hell? Oh, okay. Never mind. Scratched it off. It's all good. I think it was rust from this little thing I keep it in. Anyways. And then I also have this clover. This clover. Which is going to give us luck today. So. So. Let me first ask you a little bit about yourself. So you... you you live here, you work here, in the city, correct? Okay. Well, that kind of tells me all I need to know, but... I'm drinking coffee, which I probably shouldn't do. I should definitely be drinking tea. You should drink tea, okay? Do better than I do. Oh, I also have um, amethyst as well, which is very calming, as well as I have moss agate. Very, very calming, which is very good because we need to be calm in this space. I know that I'm not always the most calm person, but I really like to be calm in my space. Um, what I want to do for you, I want you to, we're going to close our eyes together, okay? I know I've been rambling a little bit and you only have 30 minutes with me. So, and, oh, you have to go. You have to go in 10 minutes. Okay, don't be stressed out with me. That's not my, see how you're bringing your energy into my space. I think you need to hold this crystal. Hold it. And then you need to hold this one. This is a hot. It's going to make you very calm, okay? And I think you need the seashell. Because it will remind you that even though you feel very landlocked, you feel crazy, you feel you feel bound up by the city, it's all in your mind. You are literally on a beach. You are literally 
on a coast. I think so many New Yorkers forget that we live on an island. Like, in a different universe, New York City is like surfing, like boho. It's it's surfing. It's 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 um it's it's surf and turf. It's beach bum, and 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 they all just have fun because they're on the coast. We all forget that we're on, we're literally on a coast. Why does no one talk about this? But all we do is sit there and we're like, oh, it's so crazy. There's buildings. Oh, like, look at look. Go to the coast. You will feel it. Anyways, so I need you not bring that there. I'm sorry. I don't want to be mean, but you can't be like that around me. So you have you have you have 10 minutes but that's all we need so hold the stones and i am going to hold these as well in this one because i need joy right now um but what i want to see i want to see i want you to hold them and then i want you to touch my hands okay okay and then I want you to close your eyes, and I'm gonna close my eyes as well. We're gonna focus, okay? It's a it's it's a two way street, and you need to okay. Close your eyes first. Okay, I'll, I'll go into it. So, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine a path, and we're both standing on it, and it's 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 kind of it's kind of dirty, but we're in the woods, okay? It's not. It's nice. It's not dirty. You, you don't worry about it, okay? You have rain boots on. You're gonna be clean. So it's very sunny, it's warm, it's it's a warm brisk, it's like spring. You hear the birds chirping? That's real, those are real birds. Remember the birds chirp here too, you can be happy. Anyways, so I want you to walk towards and we're gonna walk towards the middle of the path and we're gonna meet each other there, okay? Meeting each other in the path. And now in the path, I want you to take my hands again in the path. We're holding them here, but we're in the path right now. And then I'm going to pass you and I want you to stay right there, okay? And I'm walking into your side of the path. What's interesting about this side of the path is that I don't know what you've imagined beyond the path. So I'm walking around and I see you have a lot of trees, but we kind of come across this valley and it's very vast, but it's not uninhabited. I see that you have a cottage here. It's very nice. And what this is telling me, well, let me, let me explore a little bit more. So I'm on, I'm walking down, I'm walking around, and I see you have a cottage, and there's, it's next to this small, it's not, it's not big enough to be a lake, but you have a small pond, and then when I go past the cottage, I see a coast, I see sand, I see just the water going in and out seems northern because you have a beach but you also have a forest maybe like ohio well not good ohio michigan michigan's better maybe like wisconsin i don't see any cheese maybe not wisconsin anyways i need to focus so here we are so what i'm getting here so, I you can open your eyes if you'd like. I'm going to open my eyes, but you don't have to if you want to stay. So, what I'm getting here is that you have a lot of desires of tranquility. And what I've noticed is that people who people who feel overwhelmed, especially people who live in a city, they dream about things that are very simple. They dream about getting a coffee every day at the same place and knowing that they will always know the people there and that they will always be able to afford it and that those things won't change because things are changing so much. You just want things to be stable. You also dream about 
places where no one is around, which I think is a little funny, all things considered. And it's interesting because I don't think that people really want that. You know, they live here for a reason. They could move. Yes, I know it's expensive, but you could move. It's actually cheaper everywhere else. But I don't think that that's what you really want. It's where you want to escape to because you feel like the walls are closing in around you. The clouds just came out and covered the sky. She's very sad. Not in the, um, not in the dream, in the real world. But I feel like it's because you feel like your life is clouded. You feel like there is a cloud over your heart that is hurting you very deeply. You feel like you aren't getting everything you want out of life. That you're doing everything right, but you're not getting there. So, what I want to tell you is the solution is not a cabin somewhere. Because I don't think that's what you truly want. Although I would definitely, you know, if you could like go on a little a trip, that'd be really fun. I think that how I'm feeling about your energy and what I see, I really have to t dive into your energy right now because to go into your future, it would completely, again, it's like, it's like, it's like you're going in to get a boob job, but like you have cancer. It's like, we need to focus on the, the imminent thing before we go into the nice stuff, you know? I think that you are really not focused on, as my friend Ram Dass would say, the here and the now. You don't need to find some, you know, you don't need to go take the furthest train away to upstate New York so you can go sit by a pond. You have a body of water all around you. It's already here. It's all here. It's all here right now. And I think what you need to do is to, if I were you, um, and this is not to say that you don't face real hardships in your life. I'm sure that there are a lot of things that you've gone through. Um, you know, no one has enough money. No one has enough time. No one lives necessarily, you know, not everyone has a comfy place to live. Not everyone has a great family life. Not everyone, you know, some of us are, are hurt by certain hatreds and oppressions. And I'm not saying that that's not all true. But... There's a different sort of poison that permeates the mind of a lot of people, especially in the city, that is, I don't want to say self-inflicted, because it's not, it's not um, something you can blame someone for. It's very understandable why people get the way that they are, when you understand all the things that they go through. But what I want to tell you is that there is another way. Um, but that's also to say, someone once told me this, and I thought it was very smart, when you get uh, when you see someone who has like a a mindset that you really want maybe it's you feel like they, they're very peaceful they're very calm or maybe they're very motivated and they do a lot of things they enjoy or maybe they really love themselves and you feel like you don't love yourself there's no island that you get to and you stay there and then you're there forever it's always a it's always a battle you know when I was getting on the train to get here and there was a delay and I was sitting there and there's some guy next to me and he's like mumbling to himself and the other girl next to me is like jabbing her elbow into me. It's not a mindful space, but I come here anyways and I put all my little crystals out and I light some incense and I close my eyes and even though I know, hey, five minutes, you know, time is money, five minutes is all, you know, you gotta, you gotta be going, you gotta be going, going, going every minute. You don't need to... The time that you take to make sure that you're okay mentally, not just okay, but happy, is necessary time, okay? That's what I'm really reading from your energy. You need, you need to give yourself the space and the time. All of your other goals can wait because guess what? Those goals will mean nothing. Well, number one, if you're not there to see them, but also if you, you know, if you get sick, or if you are so stressed out, like you ever, um, 
you ever like been in school and you were so stressed out about a test and then you took the test and you realized that you're still like stressed out for a couple hours afterwards even though you have the initial relief you're still like a little bit on edge and you're like why am i on edge and then you realize it's because you had the test earlier and it's like you already did it but you're still stressed about it because you worked yourself up about it so for so long it's so hard to let go so that's what i'm feeling for the here and now now i know you gotta go soon but here's the other thing i'm gonna tell you a little bit about your future okay because i did promise that for you okay so hold out your hands again and I'm gonna hold your hands. And you are going to, that's another thing, one more point before I go to the future, okay? Sometimes I know people who, they get a lot of crystals for joy. They really wanna carry around joy because they don't feel happy, they want joy. I think when you where you need to start is you need to start with peace. You need to start with calm. Yes, joy, but that joy comes with peace with calm with doing things you need to do you know sometimes you like it's like when you don't clean your apartment because it stresses you out but then your apartment's not clean and you're like oh well now it's dirty you know what i mean it's like you don't want to do that initial step but it's necessary so let's go into the future and i want you to come with me now so we're holding hands you've met me by the coast i want you to take a time second to Walk with me now. We're gonna go back to your cabin. And we're gonna open the cabin door. And I want you to tell me, well, don't tell me. I want you to just look around because I see what I see, but I'm sure you've seen some things as well. So, is it comfortable here to you? Yeah? All right, so we're gonna go outside And now I'm gonna feel the future for you. So what I'll tell you right now is that the the things that you saw in there, the, the basic comforts that you felt will always be around you for your entire life, you know? And I do believe you, you will live um, at least another good 20, 30, 40 years. At least 60 that's my my feeling for you i can't tell you about the years after that i'm sorry but 60 is at least how long you will live so a good amount of life okay you know russian serfs they lived until 27 so you're doing pretty good you're not a russian serf anyways so the things that you saw in there each individual comfort will always be around you and each thing that you saw in there I think was indicative of a certain thing that is coming so for example you have your bed and I think that your bed is going to be I mean obviously a bed is always important but I think that you're gonna be getting a little bit more sleep hopefully I think you're also going to be investing more time in your hobbies and let's be real when you live in New York where do you do your hobbies? You sit in your bed because you're not going to sit at the kitchen table because you already eat over there. So sit in your bed, maybe write a little, maybe you're going to play an instrument. That's where I see you. I also see we had a small kitchen in there and I, I keep seeing a wooden spoon. And what I think about that wooden spoon, a couple things. First of all, I see the wooden spoon and I see that it's, I think, well, on a surface level, I think you'd enjoy baking. On a not so surface level, I think that you are going to... You have this earthy material, it's a wooden spoon. I think that you are going to find yourself drawn to nature, but you're also going to find yourself drawn to like grounding. You really need to ground yourself but I think that that's also coming for you. I think that this sort of, this, this simple comfort of wood, it is going to be there for you. And I want you to notice when you see wood, obviously it's around a lot, but you know, a lot of times you go into buildings, it's like they got tiles and they got da 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 da. Notice that when you go into a building and there's wooden floors, 
you have that you have that grounding at your feet and notice wooden spoons as well and then i go to the window you had curtains on it and even though it's a small cabin the light comes in so plentiful and i want you to remember that every time you feel like it's too dark you can open a curtain and i mean this literally I think so many people, you know, they, they're going doing things, they never open the curtains, you gotta open your curtains. But also, when you're feeling bad, the curtain is there for you to open, and you can do it. And I think that it will happen for you very soon, especially with the seasons changing. It's very beautiful outside, finally. And I'm trying to see. I mean, specifics, I don't know, I'm not too keen on specifics, not because I don't know, but because I don't think that those are things that really matter, you know? Oh, am I gonna get the job? Am I gonna get this? Am I gonna get that? I feel like the most important thing to tell you is that you're going to feel better soon. 1000%. Okay? So I'm gonna let you open your eyes, but I'm gonna count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, I know we ran over, well, we didn't run over for me, but I know you gotta run, you gotta da, 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 da. So, I'll let you go. But what I want you to take I want you to take this It's just a little quartz and it doesn't have a specific it's sort of just general healing whatever but i think that that's really something that you need you just need something very clear i think your mind needs to be clear and so you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it wherever you can put it in your bra you can put it wherever and just keep it close to you and i think the things will turn out for you okay all right i think that I think that things are gonna turn up for you. I think you need to stop worrying so much, okay? Promise me? Promise me? Promise? Okay. You go on and have a great day. Tell all your friends about this place, okay? Because I need my bills paid too. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day, okay? I'll see you around.